Major, please read the resolution. The President is authorized to present, on behalf of the Congress, to the Little Rock Nine gold medals in recognition of the selfless heroism such individuals exhibited and the pain they suffered in the cause of civil rights by integrating Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. Tell your mama, tell your pa, I'm going to send you back to Arkansas. Oh, yeah, man. It was the beginning of a school year like no other at Little Rock Central High. The Arkansas National Guard ringed the school with orders to admit only the white students. It shocked the country. At the center of the crisis were these nine teenagers, selected by the school board because of their excellent grades. The first day, eight of the nine went to school together, accompanied by their parents and ministers. The eight children and the adults with them were turned away by the National Guard. The black parents and the NAACP went back to court. The national NAACP saw this case as a showdown for desegregation, and they assisted the local lawyers. The pressure on the president increased. Defiance of federal law seemed to be spreading. From Little Rock, Faubus changed his tactic. He simply removed the National Guard, leaving only city police in an explosive situation as the Little Rock Nine entered Central High School. We've just got a report here on this end that the students are in. They're trying to turn the kids down that way, down there. You can see from here some of the action occurring down there. The rioting was headline news. The nation and the world saw unmistakably the face of resistance. Finally, President Eisenhower realized he had to act, and he did quickly. That night, he sent in the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne Division. An extreme situation has been created in Little Rock. Challenge must be met. And with such measures as will preserve to the people as a whole their lawfully protected rights and a blot upon the fair name and high honor of our nation in the world will be removed. Mob rule can not be allowed to override the decisions of our courts. By Thanksgiving, the Little Rock Nine had become seasoned veterans, giving sophisticated statements to the press. I'm Minnie Jean Brown. I'm thankful for the many people who have stood by us and worked diligently in our struggle for a perfect democracy. At school, the black teenagers were still being harassed by a few determined whites. David Sontag came here today, he says, to apologize to Minnie Jean for an altercation in the cafeteria. What well, was it done it was out just of? done <laughs> out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. of not understanding her plight mm -hmm. and our, our, the plight of all of them. We didn't really know. We weren't walking in their shoes. We didn't put our stuff in their shoes. And I know that I didn't treat them the way I would have wanted to be treated. Are you the reason uh, Minnie Jean was, was expelled? I may be part of the reason. <laughs> when Minnie Jean was kicked out of school following the Chile incident, Maybe 15, 20 students brought uh, cards and gave them out that said one down, eight to go. Uh, when uh, uh, school was out in, uh, in, in May, they still hadn't given up the fight. They, uh, they came out with a two-color card that said, I go home, Liberation Day, May 29th, 1958, which was graduation day. They were still fighting the, the battle even then. So uh, you came here today, what? Do you... I am genuinely sorry for any negative things that I did at that time. And you are now and here because you were, were shamed. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Does his apology mean anything to you? I would like to come forward and a lot. apologize. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot to us. This is yeah. down here. Oh. Americans of all races must insist on both equal opportunity and excellence in education.
That is even more important today than it was for these nine people. And look how far they took themselves with their education. My favorite principle of nonviolence is that suffering can educate and transform. That's the one I like. I have been on a lifelong learning course of education. And that has enhanced me, it's enhanced the people I'm around, it has enriched my family. Nothing really makes up for it except to transform it, right? And, and use the story in a transformational way. That you tell the horrific things, but you also say, well, this is what I learned and this is what we can learn. And so it's kind of like taking a bad story and, and turning it around. The cost of my high school education was great, but the value of it has no measure. It fell to these nine Americans when they were young, as children, to become our teachers. And because they taught us well, we are a better country and we honor them today. Minnie Jean Brown Tricky. <laughs> Minnie Jean Brown Tricky.